caught by a straight kick. And they are there. For the first time, the power are in the grand final. Fox still still play, you know, one of the, you know, they talk about great clashes and great uh, finals and they still play that one as one of their, their best. Ah, uh, look, uh, obviously going to that game, the emotions, can we get over the line for the first time to uh, dip our toe into the grand final? And, you know, that was uh, going to be special. Remembering back the, uh, the tension going into the game, can we uh, get over the line and finally get to a, a grand final, what we, uh, we think we, we uh, needed to get to and, and deserve to be there. So uh, nothing happens easy, though. You have to go and win it and... Uh, you know, all hell broke broke loose. You know, we expect to win premierships, and uh, the fact that uh, we hadn't delivered it was giving us an opportunity to be part of uh, you know that that uh, fantastic wall, walk of fame that uh, along the wall where you can see all the the previous teams and the previous great players um, be recognised for achieving something, and and the uh, it gave us that opportunity. It certainly. Um, it was a relief, uh, you know, so everyone was happy, everyone was jumping around, you know, we, we were accused of celebrating too much and, you know, we played our grand final already and all those sort of things, but there was no chance of that happening. Uh, well, it just meant so much that we got to that big stage and we'd talked about the MCG, we'd come and visited the MCG in our early days. Uh, the MCG, you know, we knew it was the holy ground, we knew that uh, everything was, uh, all great uh, memories were made here and uh, we, we were going to be part of it. Here comes Port Adelaide for the first time ever in an AFL grand final. Let's listen to the crowd. You know, we're playing a team that's uh, uh, playing their fourth premiership, or they're trying to win their fourth premiership in a row. Uh, they're hard-nosed. They're, they're certainly um, uh, grand final ready. And uh, it's going to be one of the, the biggest contests you know, we've gone head-to-head -head against Brisbane a lot of time in that era. Uh, our, our record is outstanding, but we haven't won the Premiership, and they have. And uh, it didn't kind of stick in the... You know, we wanted to prove something. He's the veteran, former Essendon Premiership now. player. Hardwick goes down, Mark, Michael Voss just laughs at him. He has, and he's their best tagger, of course, and... Uh, Car as well. Ooh. Oh, gee. Well... They're old enough to know better. <laughs> he was brilliant last year, but Corn's just as desperate and determined. The Lions win the day though. Lappin left it behind. Carr for the first one of the afternoon. Just Carr. And Port get a chance on the break. And it's in the arms of Byron Pickett. A couple of bounces. Byron winds up. He is running a muck at the MCG. Seller, Ekermanis, talk about sparkle, Jason knows how to kick there. Oh, what an extraordinary kick from Jason Ekermanis. Byron Pickett, he's probably the only man who could do it. And off he goes again, Byron Pickett. Long one to the square. And it was impossible in the half time. Half time, yeah, I actually remember the half time better than others because I always talked about our players don't be uh, another brick in the wall or another blade of uh, grass. You have to stand out, and you know don't wear grey. I hate it. I hate grey. Quite often I talked about putting on your your pink polka dot shirt and standing out, and uh, like uh, when you win the king of the mountain, you put on those polka dots. And we talked about that often. And I had a chat to Bish about it, especially you know because he's a running uh, defender that can really rebound and. Uh, I put it on him a little bit and you know, it was a great delight to see in the, in the third quarter, really close to the boundary here, he takes off and uh, starts bouncing and breaking up the game a bit and opening up the game for us and uh, it was uh, fantastic for him to do that. Levine to put the three goals in front! Johnson took his time, Wanganin will kick another and the power are on their way! Oh, Montgomery to Wanganeen, the man for all occasions, he's done it again. He's headed for a second flag. It's certainly been Byron's, goes short, 
And Stuart Jew gets another chance to try and get his lethal left online. Bullseye! And the flag is theirs! And this year they've done it in finals where it counts. So many great stories in this Port Adelaide team. And Adam Kingsley suffers rejection early. He adds to it with a goal. So the, uh, after Kingsley kicked the... Uh Kicked that last goal, you know, I started to reflect and look around and uh, certainly, uh, you know, appreciate the people that were in, in the box and uh, thank them for the, what they'd done and how they contributed to, uh, to what we'd got. Uh, you know, my emotions then saw Matty and, you know, for what he'd been through and uh, how much he'd done for the club, both on and off the field. You know, it was quite emotional to see uh, you know, the feeling that how happy he was for us. Well, you know, walking down the steps, there was a whole lot of emotions going through me that, you know, from understanding what Matty had missed out on um, to, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the effort and the, uh, the disappointment of the last few years of all the, uh, the people to uh, probably my family as well, you know. So, uh, you know, Dad, Having been part of Port Adelaide for so long and, you know, taking the chance to come into the AFL to know that we've finally stepped up on uh, the national stage and, and reached the uh, recognition that Port Adelaide had already, always uh, demanded, you know, it felt like, yeah, that's pretty damn good. So, um, you yeah, that, know, that, that was, that was the, uh, the motion uh, going down. And, of course, you know, famously, uh, the tie was there and... You know, the tie was all about, uh, you know, even at half time, they were calling us chokers as we walked past and, you know, you're going to lose and you're not going to make it. And, you know, that drove and drove and drove our group, me in, uh, in particular, uh, we're not chokers, we're winners. And um, so that was stick it up, your jumper. Uh, we're not chokers anymore. Look at that. The other thing I can remember fondly is going down to where our cheer squad were and someone had a, uh, a WEG poster. And for me as a little kid, uh, WEG posters signified something special and you, you'd achieve something. And uh, I knew we were going to get medals and all that stuff, but uh, Roger James and I get this WEG poster out of the crowd. Someone gives it to us and to hold that up, uh, it's, it's still one of the, the, you know, it brings about great, great emotions that it says, yep, that's it, boys. That's all. You, you've done it all. So we got a week post then. Look, Hall of Fame is uh, a, quite a, a unique thing. It says you're elite. It says you're the best. It says you that have achieved lifelong uh, uh, ambitions and you've got to the top of the mountain. And for, uh, for the 2004 group to be uh, acknowledged that way, everyone will be so, so uh, honoured by it, uh, humbled by it and uh, you know, we've been a pretty close group over the last 20 years. Uh, we've hung together, we supported each other, and this will uh, even draw us closer. Look, it's really important to understand that uh, our 22 get uh, acknowledged, and uh, uh, it's great for, for those guys that were there on the day, but without doubt, Matthew Primus had uh, such an influence from the, the start, the day one that he came come to Port Adelaide, to the day he left. Um, uh, but especially on the, uh, the Premiership year, um, his involvement uh, off the field, in the box, with the players, with the uh, coaches, uh, and then the, the tenure of leading up to that stuff, uh, up to us um, winning the grand final, is so influential in us getting there. You know, that, that pivotal moment of climbing up the top of the mountain and making sure that everyone got there uh, he protected us all, he carried us all, and uh, it's with uh, great joy and, uh, and emotion uh, that uh, on behalf of the Port Adelaide Football Club, I want to announce that Matthew Primus is also included in this Hall of Fame.